Alright uh, YouTube, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to um, SBF your Droid X. This is uh, Droid X, Motorola Droid X. So before I do that, let me just get into some system settings for you guys really quick here and show you what this Droid X is running. Um, we are currently on Android version 2.3.4. Alright, there you can see model is Droid X. And it is system version 4.5.612, which is the MB810. Uh, okay, so uh, if you are on this system version, you can only SBF with this file. Um, you can SBF other phones with it, but then you'll be stuck on this system version and you won't be able to downgrade. Just a heads up. Uh, so, I actually have a root permission on this device right now. Um, and I kind of want to get rid of it to restore it right there. You root with super user. Uh, and I want to get rid of it to restore it back to stock. So we're going to SBF this thing and it's going to restore it back to full stock uh, gingerbread like it would be from Verizon when you got it. So to do that, the first thing we're going to do with our phone is we're going to put in bootloader mode. To do this, we're going to power the device off and power off. And then what we're going to do on the side is we're going to hold down the camera button on the bottom, the volume down, hold those two down, and then hold the power button. You see a little flash, and then like go of them all. And you're going to be in this mode, which is bootloader mode. Once you're in this mode, go ahead and uh, actually, we'll wait on that. I'm not going to plug in yet. Let's go ahead and look at the computer next. Alright, so our phone is in bootloader mode. We're going to come over here and go to this, which is Motorola Device Manager, and we're going to run it. Um, you're just going to click on it, and it's going to come up and go ahead and tell you to run. Mine's coming up with this because I have a newer version of this already installed. Um, but you'll want to run this. This will install your Motorola drivers. So go ahead and do that. So I'm going to close it because I don't need to do it. I've already done it. But uh, go ahead and download this. All your links are going to be in the video description down below um, my video here. So just go ahead and download this. Run the, the Motorola drivers at this point. Once the Motorola drivers are installed and you're back in the bootloader mode here, just go ahead and plug your device in with the USB cable. And just let it sit there for a second and your Motorola driver should install. So once your Motorola drivers are installed, you're going to want to open up your RSD Lite, which is this program, which is right here. Just click on it and hit run. And it's going to open up this program. And you're actually going to see a connection status of your device down here. So right here you can see you're connected and it just populated a bunch of information in there for you. So you want to make sure it says that you're connected here. And your, your model should say like here, like this is like S flash or something like that. So you are connected. That is good. Next we're going to hit this button right here, which is these little three dots. And we're going to browse for my file. Well, I downloaded mine. I know where it's at, but you can hit this and you can browse through all your stuff. So I'm going to go to where mine is at. You actually have to unzip this file. So originally it looks like this right here. And when you unzip and extract it, it's going to look like these two files. So make sure you unzip it. You can use 7-Zip, great program. I have it on my website if you guys want to download it from there. Um, and then just go ahead and then you're going to highlight this one right here once you unzip it. And hit open. Or just hit double click it. There you go. So now it's listed here where it's found. And it populates this information over here on the side. So once you have all of those things in there, um, you're ready to flash. You can just hit start. But before you start this process, make sure, please, please make sure that you have good battery life, like fully charged. Because if this thing crashes in the middle of the flash, you could brick your device. And you won't be able to restore it after that. It'll be done. It'll be a paperweight. Um, unless possibly you get a factory cable and you can do it that way. But So I've got full battery on this thing. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And it's going to go ahead and start the process. Here you can see what the execution is, how far it is in it. It's phone creating, um, it says phone and it says creating image files. So this whole process is probably going to take about 10 minutes to flash everything. It's going to flash here, just flashed a couple things. It just changed your device into um, a flashing update mode. 
So it's going to flash a bunch of different files here. You're going to run through a bunch of executed commands here and percentages. So let those things run through. I'm going to come back with it when it gets to the next point and I'll show you then. So just, just hang on here. Alright guys, so we have uh, just finished the execution of all of the flashing of the phone and now it says right here phone is being rebooted and just so you guys can see this you're rebooting with the Motorola logo um, haven't touched anything on the phone, it's just done all this all by itself so we're going to let this reboot um, and you want to watch your execution here and let this thing completely finish the execution process for the reboot right now we're at 16 percent and right here when you're done it should say you know the results of how the flash went if everything was successful or what if it failed if there was some issue should tell you right here so I'm gonna let that finish up and we'll check the results and again as you can see the phone is rebooting this is the boot logo and if there is a problem with this thing um, you're gonna boot loop and you're gonna keep seeing this boot logo over and over and over and over well as you can see there is no problem let me refocus on my phone but let's check these results on this uh, over here hang on a sec as you could see in the last there you could see that the phone just rebooted completely and now your results in the RSD light program that we ran um, right here say finished and then right here in results say passed so at this point you can go ahead and close this program and you can actually unplug the phone. So go ahead and unplug it. We unplug the phone. Um, now I'm going to show you the importance of the bit, the fully charged battery, and that is right here. You probably dropped 25% of your battery up on top. You can see it was fully charged before, and we dropped about 25-30% of our battery out just doing this process because it took about 10 minutes. Um, so as we can see, we can look through this we can go down here to the phone and you can see that the super user application is gone and we do not have root access anymore because we have fully restored this thing now it did not wipe the data on the phone so to do that or if you're getting stuck on a boot loop like I was telling you about on the boot animation keeps showing up what you're gonna do if you're in a boot, boot loop stuck what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna it's gonna be boot looping on you so what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna take in pull the battery out because it's boot looping make sure it boot loops at least three or four times before you do this process and then you're going to put the battery back in put the case back on and you're going to hold the home button the volume down button and then you're going to hold the power button and you just want to hold them keep holding them you got the Motorola logo right there and you're going to see this guy right here and then you're going to push both volume up and down at the exact same time and you're going to get into this menu so let me focus on this so you're going to get into this menu right here this is stock android recovery so if you want to factory reset completely what you're going to do at this point is go ahead right here and hit uh, wipe data factory reset with the power button and then scroll down to where it says yes and do delete it i'm going to say no right now because i don't want to delete it right now and it'll delete that and it'll come back to the screen go to wipe cache partition and do that also if you're boot looping, boot looping on that boot animation do these two steps hit that and then like this one's just gonna go ahead and wipe cache it's not a really big deal so go ahead and run both of those two steps and then if you're boot looping once these two things get wiped out and formatted you go ahead and uh, um, hit reboot system right there on top by hitting the power button right there and you will boot up and you will boot up correctly um, everything should boot fine at that process because you've now SPF the device you factory reset it and you wipe cache wipe your cache partition and everything will boot up just fine for you so that is it that is the full restore our SPF for the droid X Motorola droid X I uh, hope you guys like this little video on it tutorial and walkthrough if you do please check out my uh, website above me right here but my thumb is called root junkie Dot com got a lot of great information on there um, also you can follow me on facebook or twitter so i hope you guys like it please subscribe and we'll catch you guys next time thanks for watching